Learning other disciplines has made me a better comic artist. So making comics has been my passion for a long time, but I've also explored other forms of art, namely graphic design. I work as a in-house designer for a company, and through learning design at my job and, you know, studying it on my own, um, my comic work has gotten better. I think by learning other disciplines and other forms of art, you can really strengthen certain skills that are needed for comics. For example, my skills with color and uh, composition were really strengthened through graphic design. One thing I know about drawing comics and I guess illustration and drawing in general, it's really easy to get caught up in like the act of drawing. Whereas when you're working in graphic design, you are you mostly have text and shapes and color and you put them all together into a nice composition for the messaging. So it really cuts down on having to worry about like anatomy, uh, proportions, um, line variety, you know, all the little bits and bobs of drawing. So it really helped me level up my composition and color because that's all I had got to focus on was making pleasing designs just using Using those. I've recently wanted to, okay, not recently, for the longest time I've wanted to get into sculpting. I did a little bit of sculpting in high school for a class where we did like, we sculpted our classmates' faces for like a, like a bust. And that was really fun. I really enjoyed it. And I know that sculpting would probably help me with my form. So, you know, creating shapes, making them seem 3D, even though you're just drawing like a 2D thing. Because when you're sculpting, you don't really have to worry about like where the shadow falls or like the contrast because the light will naturally make that happen. And just like it'll help me understand the actual shapes of things by kind of learning them in a 3D space. And it, and it seems fun. Gotta, gotta indulge those passions, right? Another um, different kind of art discipline thing that has helped me with comics is getting invested in writing. If you're making web comics, you're probably the writer of your comic, so you'll probably already be studying writing, but <laughs> as someone who works with a writer where I don't have to handle the script very often, uh, it really helped me to look into writing and kind of understand character and metaphor. Those in particular are great because you can learn, you can do like devastatingly beautiful stuff if you're like character arcs and visual metaphors are on point in your comic. So yeah, I learned a lot about writing from this really cool podcast called Writing Excuses. It's got like Brandon Sanderson and Dan Wells and Mary Robinette Kowal and Howard Taylor. And I know they've got a bunch of new people on, but I haven't listened to it recently. But anyways, I learned like everything I know about writing from that podcast and they're like amazing authors and go listen to that podcast and learn about writing. It'll make your comics better. <laughs> so yeah, explore all your passions, I guess. You don't just have to be a comic artist. You can do all of it. <laughs> oh, some other stuff I got into was like animation. I haven't studied it very much. I know like the basic basics. I've also gotten into like coding and stuff, mostly for, I mean, part of it was interest, but also just to like keep our websites running. But yeah, diversify your skill sets, I guess. It helped me a lot. I also have this mindset where I, it probably sounds really arrogant, but it's like, I try to be optimistic. That's how I look at it. I basically think that like, you can learn anything, right? I mean, I think some people are born with like a better intuition about how things work, but I feel personally like if I just study it hard enough, I can get it. So once I started feeling that way, it became easier to like pick up new art forms and learn new skills. And it's really fun to learn. So I, I encourage you to go and flex your, your learning muscles and have fun. Because like, <laughs> you learn better if you're having fun, right? I know I do. And it, yeah, just looking at it that way gets rid of the, the scariness and the stress and like fear of failure. If you're like, I can do it, it might just take some time, but that's okay. <laughs> so yeah, follow your heart and your dreams and it'll make your comics even better. And that's all I have for today. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye!